The reality here is that people do drown if you're not watching the water. I don't want that to ever happen to me or any of us in the team. You get your, your run of the mill rescues down here. But every now and then you do one that's a real critical one. Five central to Blue Rhino, fourth ramp. As quick as you possibly can. Looks like little kid, he's just dropped off the bank into the hole. Get straight in, mate. Go get him now. You're actually second guessing whether you'll get to him in time. And when you leave the beach and hit the water, it just feels like everything slows down and you're watching people go down in front of you. And you're just hoping that they can just keep themselves above water for an extra five seconds so you can get to them. That's all you're hoping for. If I did lose someone, I reckon I'll be affected for a long time. And I'd hate, hate it to happen to me. I haven't done many rescues like that with the young kids. They're just defenceless, you know, against the ocean. I just felt awful when I got to him. He was so much closer than, than uh, people realise, I think. At Bondi, danger is never far away. But the lure of Australia's most famous playground is irresistible.